So I'm going to share three ways to connect to our spiritual council. Hello, my beautiful friends, beautiful beings. So I'm asked this question a lot, and that is, how do I connect to my spiritual team? How do I connect to my spirit guides? How do I connect to that higher consciousness? And we're going to talk about that today. We are always supported by a higher divine intelligence, by our cosmic team, by beings in the unseen realms that are there constantly supporting us and guiding us in this life. God, angels, spirit guides, whatever you want to call them, there is a higher force guiding us constantly. We have access to this light source energy at any time. We are this light source energy. So we can connect to these beings, this energy, this awareness, whenever we want. They're always there. They're just sort of on standby, waiting to connect to us. Think about when you're learning to ride the bike, when you're learning to ride a bike without training wheels. Let's put it that way. When you're learning to ride a bike without training wheels, your caretaker, whoever's teaching you to, whoever taught you to ride, wasn't constantly holding on to the bike or holding on to you when the wheels came off but they were there they were there guiding you and cheering you on and and supporting you along the way and they were there to help pick you up if you fell right same thing works with this divine higher intelligence with us here on earth they're constantly there always cheering us on and ready to support us and help pick us up whenever we need them. So like I mentioned, we are of the same light source energy. We have just signed up to experience what it is to be a human, whether it's for the first time or whether we've been here before. We have signed up and chosen to be in this human body as a light being, as a light source. That comes with its own challenges and blessings. But some of those limitations that come with being in the human vessel is that we forget, we forget that we are beyond more than this physical vessel that we've chosen. We forget sometimes that we are spiritual beings. We forget that we have access to our spiritual abilities, empathy, psychic awareness, intuition, telepathy. All of these gifts that we have access to, to help us not only navigate the challenges in life, but to also help us call in abundance, call in prosperity and align us on our divine path, align us with our highest self, align us with our spiritual counsel. So to access our spiritual team, we have to do a little bit of work being a spiritual being in a human body. We have to cue in to our own vibration, our own frequency. We each carry this antenna. I've mentioned it before. It's our intuitive antenna, our psychic antenna. And we have to clean that antenna up. Let's clean up the channel, clear out the static and come into alignment with ourself, come into peace. So first we have to quiet our busy mind. That's, I think, one of the biggest challenges being a human is how busy our mind can get. We are blessed or cursed, however you want to look at it, with an ego and a mind, a brain, <laughs> and life experiences. And so our mind can get busy. Our being can get busy. The society that we're built in has been it's structured that way to keep us constantly hustling, constantly moving, constantly in this state of go, 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 of action, of moving, of progress. So to first connect, we got to slow that shit down. We have to come into a state of peace, of quiet, of stillness. And the easiest way to do that is to literally connect to your breath, to breathe. We have to enter into that peaceful state to enter into our heart center, to enter into that highest frequency that we exist at, 
the frequency of love, peace. We have to elevate our frequency in order to connect with the beings of higher frequency, right? We have to merge our energy with that divine intelligence. And to breathe is the first easiest way to get us there. So the best way to do that is to close your eyes or soften your gaze and just connect to your breath. Just return back to yourself to soothe your nervous system, quiet the busy mind and stimulate that vagus nerve, right? To pull us out of fight or flight and to pull us into that relaxed, peaceful essence. We want to shut down the noise. We want to pull our energy back into us and let go of the energy that's not ours to carry. So we have to first come into a place of stillness and quiet and breathe. And when I say breathe, I mean those deep, full, expansive belly breaths, those breaths where you're really feeling your full belly, fully expanding and deflating your rib cage, expanding and deflating to stimulate that vagus nerve. You want to feel that full expansion and deflation, which is going to help to calm us down. So let's try it. Just close your eyes with me. Just take a nice, first note your energy right now. First, pay attention and note where your energy is at right now. How are you feeling? How's your body feel? You may pick into pick up into some tension that you may that you may be carrying within your body. So take a take a beat to just take note of where you are at this moment. And now breathe with me. Take a nice full expansive deep breath in. And release. Another deep breath in. And release. Another deep breath in. And release. Feel how calm you can get with just three breaths. Now, you would be continuing this breathing exercise a little bit longer than what we just did. I usually recommend to give yourself a good solid 10, 10 minutes. While you're doing that, while you're breathing, focus on your heart and, and bring yourself into a state of gratitude, into a state of peace. Be grateful for the blessings in your life. Be grateful to be alive in this beautiful universe right now. The miracle of who you are, your limitless potential, the connections that we can have. Come into a place of gratitude while you're connecting with your breath. This helps to elevate your frequency. It helps to raise your vibration. It's almost as if you are setting out a cue to your spiritual counsel. Okay. I'm coming into a place of stillness so that I can connect with you. You get what I mean? Get where I'm going? But like I said, you're going to be doing that for at least 10 minutes. If you'd like, you can even put on a guided meditation. I have plenty on the channel here to help get you into that peaceful, relaxed state. You're basically switching into those soft alpha or theta brain waves. You are shifting from that active beta into alpha or theta, which is that calming theta waves. It's like before you fall asleep right? So it's like that soft, relaxed, weightless feeling. It's coming back to yourself. So the next, while we're in this place of stillness and peace, we are now going to expand our energetic body. We're going to expand our energetic, our spiritual energy, our spiritual being. We're going to cue up and remind ourselves that we're more than just the physical body and we're going to expand our soul beyond the physical. I like to envision that uh, happening as like, I like to see my energetic body as a being of light. And I like to see that being of light expanding beyond my physical body into the space around me. And it's almost as if we're then 
merging our spirit body, expanding that energy with higher consciousness, with those higher dimensions, with those higher realms. We're merging and spreading our beautiful soul, our beautiful spirit body into the higher realms, beyond our physical and into our higher realms, connecting with our spiritual council. And as you're expanding, as you're expanding, you're going to then welcome in your spiritual team. You're going to welcome in your spiritual council. You can speak to them in your mind. You can speak to them out loud. Just welcome them in. And this brings us into the next step. And that is receiving, receiving them, receiving their guidance, receiving their energy, receiving what they have to say. You're entering into a state of surrender in order to receive. You're pushing out the logical mind. You're getting out of the way of the ego. You're getting out of the way of the logical mind. And you're entering into that right-brained, imaginative, flowy, creative space where you are surrendering to the spiritual connection, to the spirit realm, and receiving their energy in. Now, to receive their energy, I will say things in my mind. I will say I'm I'm in I'm entering into a state of receiving. I I surrender. I'm a vessel for spirit. I'm a channel for spirit communication. And I just be. I just let myself receive. I, I, I Knowing too, like I keep an open mind here. You want to know that you may not receive your exact answers, your exact guidance in that moment, but it's like you are opening up the line for communication. So you will receive some things in the moment and that may come to you in the, in the sensations in your body. You may feel pulses or tingles chills chills are a huge one for me that's spirit literally moving through your body so make note of some of that they may also present auditory messages you may hear just simple words simple phrases you might hear full sentences tune in to the whispers of spirit or they will send you visual um, insights so this could be memories flashbacks symbols that may pop into your mind that you'll need to explore Like I said, just receive everything. Try not to interpret, try not to make sense, simply receive. And then once you finish that transmission, know that you've now opened up the line for communication. So throughout the remainder of the day, you may be a little bit more uh, intuitively tuned in. Your intuition may be a little bit more activated throughout the day. You may become just more spiritually aware. You may notice more signs and symbols and synchronicities Pay attention to the people that come into your path that day. Pay attention to who calls you, to who texts you. Spirit works through all the earthly things at our fingertips. So that could be through people, places, food, songs you hear. Pay attention to it all. And pay attention to your dreams that night as well. It is easier for them to communicate in our dreams because our logical mind is turned off. So you may notice that you'll receive a real juicy couple dreams that night with lots of signs, symbols, guidance. And you may have to do some interpreting too. I always recommend to keep a dream, a journal, a dream journal or a journal throughout the day, just to jot down your intuitive nudges. And then again, take some time to sit down in stillness and sort through it all, explore everything and see what they have to offer you what guidance they have nudges it's going to be gentle guidance it's going to be soft subtle whispers because they know we have to experience life we have to experience this journey but they are there to support and guide us as we need it so be sure to thank them thank your spiritual counsel for showing up thank them for their love for their constant support their constant guidance be sure to show and express that gratitude to them If you have an altar, you can leave offerings at your altar space, but simply, you know, saying a little message in your mind or thanking them out loud is plenty. Um, And then be consistent with this practice. Consistency is key, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, and it doesn't have to be specifically with the intent for guidance. It could just be to feel their energy, to feel their support, just to say hello. It could be if you've got a 
an important business meeting or presentation or something, an event coming up, and you just want to welcome them in and, and ask for their, their support and to feel their, their loving presence. It doesn't necessarily have to be specifically to receive guidance. Just that active mindful connection to them and connection to yourself helps to activate your spiritual connection, your spiritual abilities and gifts, and to help you navigate life. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so that we can connect in future videos. See you next time.